In round 54, we're going to make the last twisted corner. And we're going to get rid of those stitch markers in the third loops, if you have used them. So we start with the chain one, and then the twisted corner, the front post DC, chain two, and then another front post DC around this first stitch here. Then starting in the top loop of the first stitch to single crochet. A picot single crochet. And three single crochet. And the second of those should fall into this split spike. Another picot. Then two single crochet, a single crochet in the back loop only, single crochet in both loops, and another single crochet in the back loop only, and in both loops. Now we're going to work a split spike into this stitch here, so we're splitting the split spike going to place my temporary stitch marker here and then from here we're working six single crochet one and the second goes into this picot from the previous round previous round one Two, three, four. The fifth goes into the split spike. And then here's one more. Another picot, which should be above these picot stitches. Three single. And again, the second is worked into the split spike. another picot stitch and we're working six stitches again so the first goes before this front post the second into the front post and the third is just before the big rows and the fourth is worked into the third loop. Now what I like to do again with this third stitch is to just anchor down my big rows here, just here. Working in the third stitch here, uh, fourth stitch here now. So I can take out the stitch marker. And then the fifth is worked into the stitch just after the big rows. And I'm going to anchor down this bit here. Oh, actually, I'm going to leave it for the next round. So that's five and six. Now I'm working a front post treble, three ahead, one, two, three ahead, and one stitch down, which is worked around this front post. And if that's too short for you and you notice that it's going to pull on your clair, then just make an extra yarn over. So working a double treble instead of a treble. Then we're working 10 single crochet. The third goes in the top here of this double treble or this front post. The seventh into this split spike, and the ninth as well in the next split spike. So one more, because so we're making ten, and then a picot which is above this picot here.
then a single crochet. Oh, actually, it's four single crochet. <laughs> and the third goes into the split spike. Four and another picot stitch. One single crochet only. And then we're working back. We're working back to two stitches. One, two and down to one, two, around this stitch here with a front post treble. We skip the stitch behind this front post treble, which is this split spike. We work one single crochet and then a split spike minus Three. One, two, three. We go three d rounds down. And then another single crochet, which is our center stitch here. And another split spike. One, two, three down. one single. Now we're going ahead with a front post treble. One, two, one, two. So we're going around this stitch here. Skip the stitch behind, the, behind this front post treble and one single crochet. Then a picot single crochet. four stitches and the second falls into the split spike another picot which is above this picot stitch here ten single crochet the second goes into this split spike so does the fourth not in the same, but in another split spike. And the eighth goes into this top here. Nine, oops, nine and ten. <laughs> okay. So now we go back with a front post treble and we're going around this stitch here. So we go back three from the next one, two, three, and then one down. We skip the stitch behind this front post treble. Now we go one and two. And on the second of those, I'm going to anchor the big rows. And you can just pick and choose where you want to do it, if you want to do it. And the third stitch goes into the third loop of the big rows. So we have three, and I'm going to anchor this one down as well, with a stitch that is just after the big rows, which is the one that is before this stitch here, this front post. And one more. And then another pico single. Three single crochet, the second should fall into this split spike here. Then another picot single crochet. 
Now we're working six single crochets and the second of those should fall into this split spike. the fifth into this above the pickle. Now we're working a split spike stitch again. So we're going back one and down two. We're working into this split spike. Now working over the stitch. So this is my next one then one single, single in the back loop only, single in both loops, single in the back loop only, single in both loops. And another one. So two single crochet after the last back loop stitch. And then a pink whole single crochet. Three single crochet in both loops again. The second falls into the split spike. And then another picot. And we'll finish with two single crochet. So that's it. As I said, the last time we work the twisted corner. So when you've done the other three sides you're just going to close the round with a slip stitch into this first um, front post double crochet and that's your round 54 i see you in 55. Welcome to round 55. This is the first round where we're going to make a puff stitch corner. And to make the puff stitch corner, we're going to yarn over three times. So we yarn over, insert the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over again, pull up a loop, and a third time, yarn over and pull up a loop. Now we're going to pull through all loops on the hook and we close with a chain one. Having this chain one means that our puff stitch has two, two closing stitches. Well, this is the closing chain and this is the stitch that was on the hook. So we just remember that we call this the outer stitch and this the inner stitch or the inner loop. And we chain two and then we do another puff stitch in the corner. So we three yarn overs. Three times yarn over and pull through, go through all loops on the hook. You see this is now the inner loop and the closing chain is the outer loop. And to find the first stitch after the corner you may have to just pull the puff stitch aside a little bit. We start with five single crochet and then we work a picot single crochet. So that's just one ab uh, above this split spike here. That's the picot. Another three, and the second of those should go into this picot stitch. Oh, I just noticed I forgot something, um, which is stitch marker placement. Um, we've got those three front loops here and on the other side. I'm not going to put them in because I'm going to take them out in a second again. But if you have trouble finding your free front loops, that's where you would uh, place your stitch markers. So let's just keep moving for now. So we have the, those three single crochet and we make another picot single crochet. And then 
one more stitch which should be above this first free front loop here. In this one, we're now going to, oh, in this and the other two, we're going to work the clover blossom. So the first leg of six will be a treble leg that goes into this front loop here and into the first one, which is one stitch behind the next and one round below. Well, actually two rounds below. So that's the treble. And in the same front loop, we're going to work a double treble. Remember to keep them unfinished. And now we're moving to this here, to this loop or to these loops. And into those, we yarn over four times, which is a treble treble. And we work two of those legs two treble treble legs into those loops. So four times yarn over and again in the same loops. And now we work a double treble again into the next front loop which is one ahead and two rounds below the next stitch. And in the same front loop, we also work a treble. And then we yarn over and go through all loops on the hook, and we close with a single crochet, uh, with a chain one. So now, you, you see, we've got that little cup-like thing when, we, when you look on the back. We have one stitch to skip, which is the stitch that is replaced by the clover blossom and then we make three more single crochet and the third should fall into the split spike one pico stitch pico single crochet one normal single crochet and then we have that special single cro pico single crochet that we had in the beginning where we only Inside the hook in the in the front loop, we make our three chains, and then to close the stitch, we need to anchor it back down. So we go in the back loop only of the same stitch, and then we pull the yarn through that back loop, which means three loops on the hook technically. And then our next stitch is a split spike. So we are going into this split and we split it again. We're working over this stitch, so this will be my next stitch. And I'm, in this one, I'm making another picot single crochet. And then three single crochet, and the second of those should fall into the picot from the previous round. We follow up with another picot single crochet and then five normal single crochet. The second goes into the picot from the previous round. And if you want you can use the last stitch to for example anchor down a little bit this big rows, only if you want to. So you should have five single crochet. Now we're going to work a two together stitch and the first leg goes two behind and two rounds below. So you go one, two behind and one, two rounds below, which is this front post stitch. And the second leg, also a treble leg, goes three ahead, one, two, three, and only one below, which is this front post, the one that is really quite flat. And as, as before, or as always, in case this is not long enough for you, just add another yarn over. So we need 
to skip this stitch here and then it would be followed by six single crochets I'm going to anchor this one down because it is coming forward quite a bit I'm going to grab this third loop actually I'm going to grab the other one this one here and I'm anchoring this big rose so that was the first of six single crochet the third should fall into the top of this front post stitch here and six now we're going to work a split spike which goes quite a bit ahead it goes into this split, split spike here so I'm going to mark my next stitch this is the one I'm replacing or I'm working over and this will be my next stitch so we go three ahead one two three and two down one two we're splitting another split spike And I think the trick for neat split spikes is to keep this loop small when you insert your hook and then be generous with the yarn over and pulling it up. So after this split spike we'll make one single crochet and then we're making another picot. Then two single crochet and another picot. So this should be two before this picot from the previous round. And then three single crochet. Next we're going to work a, a long split spike, four down, one, two, three, four. So we insert the hook in the stitch that is above this one where we inserted the hook for this split spike, just one above. And we pull it up. One single. Now we're going back into this split spike. So that's a minus one, minus two split spike. Working over the stitch. So the next single crochet, the next stitch that is worked, is worked into this picot stitch here. And it's the first of five single crochet. Now we're working our center stitch and it's going to be a treble that is worked into those front loops that you may or may not have marked with a stitch marker. So it's a treble into these stitches here, into these loops here. Again five single crochet, so we skip the stitch behind the treble The third goes into this front post and the fifth goes into this picot. We're working ahead, splitting this split spike. We go one ahead and two down. So that was our stitch we worked over. One single and now again the four down. One, two, three, four down. So we're splitting the stitch above this one. Three single and the second should fall into the picot.
And then another picot stitch. Another picot single crochet. Two single. And the picot. One single crochet. And now we're going back with this long split spike. We go into this stitch here. Working over the stitch, so this one is the next, which is the first of six single crochet. Oops, a lot. And again with a sixth, I'm going to pull up this big rose just a little bit. Now we're working the two together stitch again. And this time it's the flat flatter side where we go three down a three back and one down that we work first and the second leg goes two ahead and two down from the next stitch one two ahead one two down then we skip this stitch here which is behind the two together stitch and I want to pull this one up and anchor it with the next stitch. There we go. So um, it's the first of five single crochet. And a picot, which again is above this split spike. Three single. And the second is worked into this picot from the previous round. Then our special picot, our picot X, where we work only in the front loop. Then we make our three chains. Then we go into the back loop, so we've got three loops on the hook, and we pull yarn through all three loops on the hook. And then the split spike into this stitch here. And a normal picot stitch. And then one single crochet, which should be above this picot here. Another picot. And now three single crochet. And the third should bring you just above this front loop here as well. And we're going to work the clover blossom again. So the first leg is a treble leg in this first front loop here. And the second leg is a double treble leg in the same front loop. The fourth is a triple treble leg into the loops of this stitch here which was that three together stitch. And the fifth as, uh, and the fourth as well. So one, two, the third and the fourth 
three and four go into this loop. If this um, um, horizontal bar here bothers you, just pick it up and also those stitches here. If that bothers you, just pick them up and work them into this stitch. It would look like that. Two, three, and four. And now a double treble leg again in the next three front loop, which is one ahead and one round and two rounds down. And the last is a treble leg in the same front loop again. Now we pull through all th loops on the hook and we close with a chain and we skip the stitch behind. One single and then a picot single crochet. Then three single crochet and the second should be worked into this picot or should fall into this picot. One more picot single crochet and we finish with five single crochet. And then again our puff stitch corner. So with the three yarn over but that's already part of the next side then and closing with a chain and then the two chains and this is where the next side starts okie dokie so this is round 55 then so you just repeat it on the other three sides and then close with a slip stitch into the outer corner of this puff, not the inner corner, but the outer corner. And then your round 55 will be finished. Alrighty, we're making great progress in round 56. We've got one more gap to close here. And before we get started with the round, if you want to use stitch markers, you could place some in the top loops of the two together stitch from the previous round. So just in those top loops here, you can place them. And then we get started with round 56. So um, uh, chain one to get up to the height of the next round and then the puff stitch corner again and again it's going to be a three yarn over puff stitch closed with a chain one so we've got this this outer loop and the inner loop and we chain two and then we'll make another puff stitch and again we we'll close with a chain one now to continue the round we're going to start not in the inner loop but in the outer loop of the puff stitch so the puff stitch has two loop sets and we start in the outer corner We'll make two single crochet. The first goes in the popcorn and uh, into the puff stitch, and the next goes into the next stitch. And then we work a picot single crochet. One single. And now we're going to work into this stitch here into this split spike. I'm going to mark my next stitch and then I work a split spike into this split spike. And then 
the first of three single crochets that is that I made go into the marked stitch, the second in this picot single crochet, and then another single. And now we're going back into the same split spike, also with a split spike stitch. I'm going to work over this stitch, which means this will be my next. So working over this. So just one before the picot is the first of six single crochet. So the second goes into the picot and the fourth. Now we also have two top loops for the clover blossom. I like to work in the second in this closing chain because this is going to straighten my clover blossom a little bit and it gives it uh, a tip which is what I'm going for. So that was the fourth of the six single crochet and now we've got six. Okay, Here we're going to work a split spike straight down into this split spike stitch and then three single crochet now I'm making another picot single crochet two single And we do this V again. We're going to do this a lot. So we go forward and backward with a split spike into the same stitch. We're going to repeat this quite a bit now. So we're going into this stitch here. And the stitch just before the picot is where I'm going to place the first of three single crochet. Now we're going back into the same split spike. Also with a split spike. Working over this stitch, this will be my next first of three single, which should bring you just before the two together stitch that we've got here. And we're working a DCBB, a double crochet behind and below this two together stitch. Oops, Ella. And then we continue with single crochet. So six. Five and six single crochet. Another picot in the top of this split spike and then two single crochet and the second of those will fall into this picot from a previous round. We're going to make another set of this V so we go forward not into this stitch, but into this split spike here that is below this picot. And forward. And here's my next stitch. First of three single crochets again. Then we go back in the same stitch again with a split spike. One single. And now we have a little repeat of picot. Or the repeat is single picot. One single, another picot. One single and another picot.
followed by three single crochet. Now we're going to close this gap here with a two together stitch. We go with a double treble, three behind and three below. And we also go three ahead and two below. Oh, sorry, we got two below, three behind, one, two, three, and one, two below. So it's a double front post double treble, minus three, minus two, and the second leg is plus three, minus two. So the first leg, double treble, minus three, minus two, and the second leg, double treble, plus three, minus two. And we skip the stitch behind, which is the center stitch, and we work another three single crochet. Then again, this repeat of picot, and now it's the other way around. Now it's the picot, and then the single three times. Picot, single, and one more time, and you will notice that the picots always fall into this split spike stitches. and a single crochet. Now we're going to work this V section again where we go ahead into this stitch here with a split spike and then we work three single crochet and the second of the three should fall into the picot stitch from the previous round. Now we go back into the same stitch, also with a split spike. We work two single crochet. And then in the top of this split spike, another picot. So we've got six single Crochet. Uh, and if you notice that your picot is curving backwards, you can just pull it forward and it should stay in place from there then. So we said six single crochet. Four, five, and six. And again, a DCBB because we're now at the uh, at the next two together stitch. So we go into the stitch, into the top loops of the stitch that was skipped in the previous round when we worked the two together stitch. Three single, and again our V formation <laughs> going forward into this split spike here, working a split spike, and then three single, second falls into the picot stitch, stitch, and then going back into the same stitch also with a split spike. Now we work two, oops, a lot, two single crochet, and the second will fall into this single crochet, uh, into this picot stitch here. And we'll work another picot. And again, this will be in the top of the split spike. Then three single. The last will fall into the picot, and then we're working a split spike straight down.
Again, six single crochet. And, uh, and I'm going to work again in the closing chain of the clover blossom with my third stitch. Four, five, and six. And then again, the V. I'm going forward with a split spike and then three single second falls into the picot and going backwards in the same stitch also with a split spike so working over this stitch here this is my next one single and a picot stitch and finishing off with two single crochet and the second which is the last stitch on this side is worked in the outer loop of the puff stitch not the inner loop but the outer loop and when I make my next corner I'm just going to skip this inner loop so the puff stitch is worked directly into the chain 2 space and then of course the two chains and then we continue around the corner so that's round 56 you'll notice that we're getting quicker again it's just the length of the side but the working is quicker because we've got less two together stitches and and other you know things like the big rows that take up a lot of time so just repeat it on the other three sides and again close with a slip stitch into the outer loop of the popcorn of the puff stitch in at the end and then we've got three more rounds to go